there's not a deep understanding of what solar can provide and what we can supply and how we can help governments and different communities in the, in the Africa industry. Uh, if you go to different countries, there are different uh, ways of looking at, it, at, at these projects and uh, you see sometimes that people don't understand really what is the benefit that we can bring. So, um, you know, looking at, uh, at the governments, we are doing a lot of uh, this type of forums, we provide a lot of information, we share a lot of, uh, uh, of our knowledge with the regulators, with the government ministers, uh, the different departments, and uh, if people understand better what we can bring to the table, uh, you know, this is something that is really to the benefit of, of the region. We have, at the moment, we are busy with a, 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 a pilot project in, uh, in Kenya, where we do a prepaid system in a small area um, to show the government that this can be done. You can do prepayment pre on, on solar, which uh, normally is not uh, the case. And uh, we want to roll this out in, in many of these areas, especially uh, la uh, large communities where they don't have any uh, power. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, activity, and I think one of the things that you have seen today is that uh, we just we are not just an equipment supplier um, taking somebody else's technology and just put it into the marketplace. We spend a lot of time and a lot of money on research and development, um, not only to improve our technology, but also to be more user-friendly. I think our Guys today have showed very clearly that we are very utility friendly and the utilities normally complain about uh, you know, the intermittent supply. Um, we have demonstrated very clearly today that, uh, you know, that we can manage it to a certain extent. Um, so in terms of the technology, I think we have addressed that. In terms of uh, penetrating the Africa market specifically, uh, because from this office here in Africa, we look after South Africa, but as well as uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, and I think people are now starting to understand that uh, solar is not the, uh, the answer because many people will talk to you about say, you know, solar is the only answer. We need to focus on the renewable energy only. And uh, you know, there are a lot of technologies in the field. There are a lot of technologies in the, in the field and all of these technology, technologies together will provide an answer to, to the government. You know, we cannot say a gas-fired power station or gas or coal-fired power station is the only answer, but at the same time, I think what we see in the last few years is that the renewable energies, especially solar, is starting now to get part of the solution and part of the mix uh, for the governments. And I think that's what, what we're seeing now. People start to understand this now. You know, from South Africa, we are focusing on mainly on now with the program in South Africa on, on South Africa. But we also look at uh, Eastern Africa as well as Western Africa. And as you see, uh, in many of these countries, Previously, there was no uh, feed-in tariff. Uh, many of them now, through the, they, they've got now regulation in place. Uh, there's a regulator in most of these countries. They are starting now with feed-in tariffs. As you remember, in South Africa, we didn't have a feed-in tariff. Or we, we had a feed-in tariff initially, and then we changed it to uh, a bidding system. But many of, uh, nearly most of the countries, uh, neighboring countries, uh, have feed-in tariffs in place uh, for renewables. And they are still learning, um, but I think they are catching up quite fast. Um, so, I think you know Africa will be a very uh, good place for renewable energy, and specifically for for solar.